Hello everyone, and welcome back to another manga book talk. This month's manga is Anonymous Noise. Anonymous Noise was written and drawn by Ryoko Fukuyama. It was first published in Hakusensha's Hana to Yumi magazine, and it ran from April 2013 to January 2019. In the United States, Anonymous Noise is published by Viz Media's Shoujo Beat imprint. For those of you familiar with manga terms, you will know that shoujo or shujo means girls. So without further ado, let's talk about Anonymous Noise. Spoilers ahead. Nino Arisugawa and Momo Sakaki have been best friends and next door neighbors since they were toddlers. Nino's parents fight a lot, so she seeks solace by singing with Momo at the top of her lungs. They're often teased for their relationship, but neither of them care about what others think because they have a true friendship. Unfortunately, all of that is shattered when Momo's family moves away abruptly and without warning in the fifth grade. The day before he leaves, Momo cryptically tells Nino, quote, even if we can't see each other anymore, your voice will be the beacon that leads me to you, unquote. She is so devastated by losing her best friend that she wears a face mask to keep from screaming out in grief. One day after school, Nino goes to the beach to sing, scream her heart out. There she meets Kanade Uzuriha, aka, AKA Uzu. She has inadvertently stepped all over a musical composition, composition he has written in the sand. Nino sings the song out loud, and Uzu is immediately smitten by this absent-minded but gifted girl. He renames her Alice and offers up a scarf to wrap around her neck to protect, protect her voice. He tells her to come back the next week to try out, try out another song he's written. This continues on for a couple of weeks until Uzu, sadly enough, seems to disappear as well. Will Nino be able to move on from her sadness now that her two good friends have left? Does she continue singing? Does she ever see Mo Momo or Uzu again? You'll have to read Anonymous Noise to find out. All 18 volumes are available to check out from our young adult department, which is located on the second floor of the Allentown Public Library. Thanks for watching and join me next time for another manga book talk.